Hey, Justin. Thanks for uh, spending a few minutes with us today. Uh, we will uh, begin with Andrew Jones. Hey, Justin. Uh, your name's come up a lot the last couple of weeks when we talked to guys about the receiving room, who has uh, stepped forward and maybe uh, surprised some, some people. Uh, they say that you're fast, that you run really good routes and, and all that kind of stuff. Can you describe your game now that you're about 12 days into fall camp, how you're better and why you're better? Um, well, the first part of my game is I like to take the top off. If you can take the top off and go deep, then they have to respect that, which makes other routes easier, like the curls, everything like that. Because really, I try to make every route look the same. Uh, I feel like I got better just – over time, I mean, my freshman year, I was on practice squad. So every day I'm practicing against Storm Doug. Trey Morrison was at corner back then. I mean, last year I was watching Deami. I mean, you can't not get better watching Deami and Bo play. Even then, now Tony's here. He's doing great. So just the competition of all the people that they're bringing in, like come in with a class with Storm. I mean, that just helps you get so much better. And where is your confidence right now? And at what point did you – realize maybe during the spring or this fall that you know you really have made a lot of progress you are at a point where you're going to be in the rotation well um it's just I just been I feel like I've been chopping at the tree you know I was just started last fall just started knocking at it but obviously Diami is Diami and it's that simple so you know I just had to wait my turn and just keep learning from him and just so spring I try to go out there and have a good spring and I end up getting COVID about after 10 days of practice, but I feel like I had a good spring. You know, they always tell me to keep stacking good days on top of good days and being consistent. You know, my confidence comes from just, like you said, my teammates, they're so supportive. Like sometimes I'll get down, like I keep doing good and, and I feel like it's going unnoticed and they always pick me up, Twan, all of them. They're always looking out for me, the defense. So that's big. Um, sorry, I started talking. What was the last part of that question? I think you answered it. If, if, if not, somebody can remind me of what it was. That, that was good stuff. That was, that was good. I'll take that. All right, let's, swing, uh, let's swing over to Greg Barnes. Hey, Justin. Uh, Coach Galloway really uh, highlighted your consistency the other day. Well, what's been key for you? Is it, is it simply a matter of, of confidence, or, uh, or how, would you, how would you answer that in terms of the consistency? I would definitely say confidence. You know, Saturday I, I might not have had – I'm very hard on myself. So I feel like Saturday I didn't have quite the best day. So I, the one thing about like freshman year and with Deami is here is you're working and they, when people, not like you don't have expectations, you know, but the, the eyes aren't on you. So then now that they are, I began to put so much pressure on myself the past two days. And I started getting into my head, you know, maybe I'd run a route too deep if it had in the wrong depth. So today I just really try to focus on just clearing all that out playing the game that I know I've been playing and have loved since I was six. And so to answer your question, yes, it's 100% confidence. Lonnie also mentioned that you're working both outside and at the slot. Uh, how does your skill set fit both of those positions? Well, I like to use the speed, but growing up with brothers, you got to be tough. And at slot, it's so much going on. You got linebackers crossing your face. You got freak athletes, athletes like said, coming your way. So you have no choice but to be tough. So I like how like, I feel like I can come in, you know, really drop, drop my shoulder and get my head in there. I mean, watching Daz for last year, guy is a, a bowling ball. Like he's so strong and he was small, but he wasn't scared to get in there. So I, I like to try to use my speed. And then when they have to respect your speed, like I said, maybe drop out of routes or really get pressed on them, which may, might make blocking easier. Thank you. All right, uh, over to CL Brown. Hey, uh, you mentioned, um, you know, chopping at the tree and, and the process of getting better, but what was it like just mentally telling yourself you, you had to wait your turn? You had to, because, you know, especially now that the transfer portal is up and popping, like it, it would be easy just to leave if you're not getting that opportunity early. So I, I was just curious mentally how, how you stayed, you know, stayed the course. Uh, I'll be honest, it was hard. Like it was really hard. You come from, you come from being the star at your high school and then to, this was being my only power five offer. So that kind of had a role in it because I didn't know if I were to leave you know, maybe I didn't quite have the same safety net. 
also with it being such a good school, I was like, I have to graduate from here no matter what. So that was one of the main things. I was like, I'm going to get this UNC degree no matter what. But uh, there was a lot of times where it was hard, you know, not even traveling my freshman year, like watching from the from my house. I mean, that hurt. I wanted to be with the team. But, you know, you look at the roster and you're like, okay, well, Deami's a great player. And I don't mean to keep bringing him up. I'm sorry. But, you know, he's going to the NFL and, and the opportunities are open. So it's just a competition at that point. And they definitely played a role in my decision to even come here because that's kind of when uh, Anthony Ratliff was, like, trying to decide if he wanted to go to the NFL or not. So I knew coming in that I wouldn't just – hop right into it but and one thing I also want to mention is like my friend all the, like a lot of my teammates their freshman and sophomore years in high school they were really big like Chaffrey my roommate you know he had offers from his freshman and sophomore year I was still on JV and I didn't really get to explode until my senior year so this wasn't quite my first time waiting you know so and I just held on to that and um, I was also curious how uh, if you have you allowed yourself, not that you've arrived, but have you allowed yourself to kind of uh, celebrate or enjoy this, that you have worked to a point where you are, you know, you are going to get playing time, you are going to be in the rotation when when the games start? No, sir, not at all, because I just know I got to keep on going. I got to keep, like Coach said, consistency, because it's quick that if you have one or two bad days, when you have Emory balling, you know, we're just trying to make each other better. Like, we're – if I slip up and he keeps playing good, then there might be a game where he takes all the reps. But so, yeah, I can't. You can't ever get content, you know. Thank you. All right, Justin. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, y'all. Have a good one.